Hi everyone, and welcome to a series of videos for people interested in getting hands-on with Data Cloud. My name's Dave Norris, and I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. And together, we're going to look at some of the key capabilities of Data Cloud. We're going to do that through the lens of a fictitious company called Coral Cloud Resorts. In this video, we're going to cover the high-level use case, the systems landscape, and finally end with an overview of Data Cloud. So let's get started. So Coral Cloud are a hotel chain, and they take reservations from customers as well as managing the guest experiences when they arrive at the hotel. And like a lot of companies, they want to leverage their customer data better. And that means putting it into the hands of the people that need it the most. Let's take a look at the hotel's top three goals. The hotel is looking to meet three goals, and I've identified some challenges they might face. They want to be able to bring guest data in from Amazon S3, where it's currently stored, and link them to contacts in Salesforce. And they need this to operate for hundreds of millions of records. They need to cater for different schemas between Amazon and Salesforce. And they need to work out how they find unique guest profiles across the systems. They want to calculate lifetime value for Coral Cloud guests. And how are they going to do that? How are they going to run aggregations like sum and group by across millions of records? And how are they going to group by those unique guests if they don't know that they are the same person? And finally, they want to show reservation data in Salesforce. So put it into the hands of the people that need it the most. They've currently thought about custom integration options with Amazon to do this, but that comes at a maintenance cost. Let's take a look at their current system architecture. This is the current state systems landscape at Coral Cloud Resort. External systems master reservation data, and they're currently stored in Amazon S3. Events and experiences that guests can participate in are currently loaded into Salesforce and are available as custom objects. At the moment, the hotel has no way of tying reservations being captured to a Salesforce contact record in Service Cloud, and the data is currently siloed. So we've been tasked with exploring Data Cloud, so let's plug it into the diagram and discuss how it can help. Adding in Data Cloud allows us to achieve three things. We can now ingest huge volumes of data from their enterprise, in this case, Amazon, where we can ingest guest and reservation records. We can use out-of-the-box connectors to ingest Salesforce contact records from Service Cloud. And then we can look for guest records related to the same person using identity resolution. This then opens up many ways to act on the data. And that's going to be key to getting the data into the hands of the teams that need it. In this case, we're going to surface reservation data to Service Cloud in real time. And we're going to replicate some aggregated data, lifetime value to the Salesforce contact records. Let's recap on Coral Cloud Resorts goals and then map them to data cloud capabilities. The first goal was to link guest data from Amazon to Salesforce contact records. For that, we can use data streams, data mapping, and identity resolution. To calculate lifetime value for Coral Cloud guests, we can use calculated insights. And to bring key data into Salesforce, we can use related list enrichments copy field enrichments, and Apex. By focusing on a specific use case, Coral Cloud Resorts can get value quickly. But know that the capabilities of Data Cloud are broad and deep. So let's double click on Data Cloud for a second to get a big picture overview. In the next few videos, we're going to ingest data from Salesforce and Amazon S3 using pre-built connectors. We're using a capability called Data Streams. Note that there are multiple ways to ingest data, giving Coral Cloud flexibility for future use cases. We'll then create a data lake object. And you can optionally add to the source data with formulas and data transformations. Since our data sources have different schemas, we can relate them to a common data model to create data model objects. And these data lake objects and data model objects form the spine of Data Cloud. The objects related to businesses and people can then be used by identity resolution to find matching records, which in turn create unified data model objects that we can query. 
DataCloud then offers capabilities to enrich the data. For Coral Cloud's current requirements, we're going to use calculated insights. And that's what we're going to use to calculate the total lifetime value for guests. But as you can see, there are capabilities that go far beyond our current requirements. And lastly, we can then take action on the data we ingested and enriched. For Coral Cloud Resorts, we'll be using enrichments and the ability to use Apex to meet our objectives. But note the wide number of ways that Coral Clouds can start leveraging their data in the future. Coral Cloud Resorts wanted to start leveraging their customer data more effectively. They've picked a use case that allows them to start showing reservation data in Service Cloud that was previously in Amazon S3 only. And they're going to start calculating business insights, things like the lifetime value of their guests. And we're going to show you how you can use the capabilities of Data Cloud to help in the next few videos. If you want to get hands on with Data Cloud, check out the link I've provided below. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the Salesforce Developer YouTube channel for more content like this one.